What's happening YouTube? Today we're getting back out into Philly again to shoot the 12th photo vlog that I've made. As I was leaving the train station yesterday, I hadn't put the GoPro on top of the camera yet, or I hadn't switched it on, one or the other, and I got two of my favorite photos of the day before I started recording GoPro footage, so that's kind of annoying. But let me talk you through what I was doing. I'm coming out of the train station and up the escalators. At the top of the escalators, there's another set of escalators that goes parallel to it. And one of the first photos I took, I stopped at those escalators and shot up at a guy who was on them, heading up. And as he got just to the middle in front of me, I took the shot. Now this is the shot, but it's obviously heavily edited. This is not my normal style. This, I had in mind um, the style of Alan Schaller, who you can find on Instagram. And I find a lot of his work really inspirational. And I made this basically just ripping off his style but I wanted to see if I could make something similar for myself and then maybe that's something I can incorporate in some sort of way in the future. But I basically just masked off all the areas around the escalator and blew them out and made the exposure really high so they just came out completely white. And then right around the corner from that, I walked around and there's a balcony that looks at the escalator that just came up. As I was coming up to it, there was a girl who'd been putting balloons on these railings at the bottom of them. And there's a new shopping center opening, so this is not a normal thing to happen, but she's coming up the escalator on her own, nobody else around, which is pretty rare to find one person on that escalator. And she's holding these balloons full of helium. I absolutely love this photo. I didn't know if I was actually gonna like it that much, but once I edited it, it was just like, it's not a thing that you normally see in Philadelphia, or at least in that building and I feel like it's a non-repeatable photo that makes it interesting. And it's just kind of weird seeing a girl carrying a bunch of balloons around in the middle of the city. From there, I headed out to City Hall, and then that's where I had the GoPro in the camera. So let's carry on from there. All right, so no B-roll or anything today, just straight into the photo vlog. I always come up under this like archway, it's right outside City Hall, it's at the hotel across the street. I always take a picture here, usually it comes out terrible. Today's came out pretty good though, I quite like this silhouetted person in the background. I blew out that background a little bit more just to take away any other distractions that were in there. And uh, this is one of my favourites that I've made there, so came out way better than I expected. Alright, then we actually are inside City Hall and... I'm just kind of starting to like frame random shots up, shoot people as they're walking um, between those pillars, trying to find some sort of interesting person or interesting spot of light that comes through. This one here, not really that interesting. The guy was dressed with like a nice blazer and stuff on, but didn't come out that well. I changed direction a bit here, so these people are going to be walking through like backlit by the by the light from outside, and I just sit here until someone comes through. I try and frame a shot up and just wait for it to happen. And I get this guy here, which is pretty cool. I like that the light is just like silhouetting him and lighting up that pillar so he's sort of entirely contained within that pillar there. And I do a few more here, I try a vertical one. And I get one of this woman here. She's not completely contained within the pillar like the other one was. This one's not too bad, I think I prefer the first one though. Then I was trying out like, like reflection shots here because this marble stuff's pretty reflective but wasn't really working out how I wanted it to. So this might be a shot for, to remember for another day. And then just going on the other side of the pillars here, I thought I'd just try a different angle and see what else I could come up with there. And once again, just waiting on more people walking through. And we get this one guy here in the suit. Um, it, it doesn't, it's actually out of focus. It was focused way in front of him. I got one more shot here as this woman comes through. Again, we're out of focus, but uh, this one would have been nice because she's got sort of like these flowy pants on, which were kind of interesting. Then I'm actually outside City Hall. I had the idea to take more photos of like SEPTA public transport and make kind of a photo series of SEPTA buses and trains and stuff. So that was one of them, a potential photo. I don't really love it that much, but I like that there's motion in the picture at least. And I'm back in on the east entrance of City Hall. This was one of my favorite spots in City Hall for taking photos. It's a bit more interesting. There's like a balcony and a staircase you can walk up and shoot down from. 
So I'm trying a few shots. I've made good shots here before that I like, but I thought I'd try again. Maybe get a different subject, maybe I'd figure out a different angle or something. And then I start off by trying to shoot through this gap here and we get people coming past the, the entranceway. And this one's okay, uh, but yeah, I'm not really loving it that much. I'm trying to do something different and shoot through these circles here. Um, I did have to wait for quite a while for subjects to walk through in the right spots. Eventually I got these two women here. Now I wish they were just slightly further apart because otherwise this would have been perfect. They're both wearing striped tops but one is horizontal and one is vertical stripes. And had they been in the middle of the circle, it probably would have just been exactly what I was looking for. Shortly after these two guys walked through, this is pretty much exactly what I was looking for. Like they're, they're both walking opposite directions away from each other. Had the other guy just been, the, the guy on the right been slightly further away so I could see all of his feet as well, it would have been exactly what I was looking for. Or if the guy on the left had been closer as well, but yeah, this one came out cool. I, I like this one. So again, just shooting from up on this balcony. We've got a guy come through with a backpack on. Not a particularly interesting subject once again. I like that soft backlight, it's just, I like the, the dark areas of the frame, so thought it was worth including. Again, trying to shoot through these holes here and just try and get single subjects walking through. This was by far my favourite one. I took a, I took a few here and uh, this, this was one of my first actually and it came out, came out really cool. I like it. And then this one was like another attempt. It wasn't too bad, but the first one was the best. I moved on outside to see if I can find like anything else, any interesting spots of sunlight. And I got this picture here, it's really not what I wanted it to be, I wanted like a nice silhouette against the wall. Then tried to shoot the reflection of City Hall in this, um, in this whatever it is, the glass covering for the subway entrance. Came out a little bit abstract, but yeah, was, these, these were kind of bad ones, so. Moving on, trying this other picture. I've been here before and thought there was something to make, but I've never really figured it out or had like a good subject or had a quiet time when there was just one person coming down the stairs or something. So I shot here for a minute and eventually got this shot, which I, d I don't really like the shot that much, but it's sort of cool and I feel like there's a really good photo to be made here somewhere. I just haven't figured it out yet. Notice this really interesting patch of light in 30th Street Station. I'd, I'd walked all the way to the other side of the city at this point. Shot here for a while, but didn't get anything interesting. It's just commuters coming through. Took a couple photos here anyways, but did not find a composition or a subject that I liked enough. And at this point, the battery in my GoPro ran out and I was waiting on the train to go back home. And I just stood in front of another train that was getting ready to leave on the opposite platform. And I shot into the window as this train was leaving and I got this guy like reading the paper or looking, probably looking at his phone to be honest. And there was this woman who was like scratching her eye or doing something, but it kind of looks like she's, I don't know, she's had a tough day or something like that. And she's just like rubbing her face. And then once I was on the train, I was just shooting pictures of commuters walking past. And this guy walks into a patch of sunlight, putting his sunglasses on. And I thought that one was cool. Again, there's a whole bunch of motion blur because I had the wrong uh, shutter speed. And then I got this last one, which I just thought was kind of cool because of the motion blur. And she was holding flowers, which is what made me initially take the picture. But yeah, some good photos at the end of the video there. I'm just really sad that the GoPro batteries had died at that point. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.